So the first round, working with difficult symptoms, difficult emotions, difficult thoughts, intrusions. So beginning with a brief acknowledging phase. So acknowledge your thoughts and your feelings. Just notice what your mind's doing. If it's racing, if it's difficult to observe it, if it's blank, detached, something's tricky there, just acknowledge it as best you can and then scan through your body. If you're feeling intense feelings, just acknowledge what that's made up of. And then spending longer getting into your body, stretching, moving. You could get up and walk around. You could do things to get into your body more physically, yoga, movement practices, mobility, stretching, anything you like to get into your body. If breath is helpful, you could spend some time doing some breath practice. You can feel your feet on the ground, or the contact with the chair. Feel that ground and stable posture. So spending some time getting into the body. And you might spend quite a few minutes doing this. And as you do it, really focusing on what it's like to move the body, get into the body. And then engaging with the world around you and what you're doing. So spending some time noticing the things you can see and what's standing out to you and the detail, anything new or novel, sounds you can hear, physical touch, contact with the ground, position of your hands. You can do self-massage as part of getting into your body. And engaging in a task, sometimes actually doing something more practical, physical, getting outside, digging your garden, doing exercise, talking to someone, doing something that engages your mind a bit more creative or solving a problem, whatever it might be. When it's intense, you might want to do more active engagement, or you might narrate what you're seeing. You observe and describe non judgmentally the things you're seeing and what you're doing. You talk yourself through that more. And another version of round one is to do a little bit more detail on each of the initial stages. So, acknowledging your thoughts, first of all, and giving them a label. So it could be a single word label like worry, doubt, judgment, analysis, rumination, reassuring. You could say, I'm noticing thoughts about and the topic, if you want to use a longer label. And if it's hard to observe, you might label a few times. You might say worry, worry worry and then scanning down through your body and noticing the different sensations that make up the emotion your head throat chest abdomen arms legs whole body and you might name it Anxiety, confusion, doubt, disgust, numbness, detachment, something else. You might describe the physical sensation, so tightness in the chest, not in the stomach, dizziness in my head, tightness in my neck and shoulders. So you might just try to describe it factually rather than judgmentally. Then you might zoom in on one piece of it that you feel comfortable to investigate and bring curiosity to it, like feeling in your chest or tummy, or if it's too intense, go for something around the edges, the feeling in the arms or legs, something like that, and you investigate it. You look at the detail, you try to look at it with new eyes, like you'd never 
observed it before and see what it's like. And you keep diffusing any judgment in your mind about the feeling. And then you come back to your body. Might do this briefly this time, like one breath or feet on the ground or adjusting your posture, straightening up a bit. And then engaging with the world around you, where you are and what you're doing. Noticing what you can see and hear, where you are, the thing you're engaged in, putting your attention on that. And you might put your thinking on it as well. You might engage your thoughts on the goals of the task or taking in what someone's saying and chunking the main points of what they're saying if you're listening or you might observe and describe your environment so your attention and your thinking could be on the engaged phase you might narrate and talk yourself through things if it's difficult tell yourself what step to take next in a kind and supportive and accepting way so there's some options with phase one we'll move into the the second version so this time just acknowledging your thoughts and feelings you might work with the strongest piece if it's more the mind diffusing that if it's more the body working on acceptance and then engaging in the world around you where you are what you're doing this moment now and as you engage trying to allow obsessions to be in the background feelings to be in the background letting go of compulsions and engaging in something you value something that matters to you or whatever you're doing in the moment And you might have to keep doing that every so often as you get hooked again, you acknowledge and engage. And you could use a single label. You could say anxious thoughts, anxiety, engage, worry, doubt, judgment, and refocus and engage. So just acknowledge what's happening and engage in life where you are what you're doing and then the final option is you just engage and you allow the automatic difficult things to be in the background the obsessions the intrusive thoughts try to just let them come and go like a radio let go of any compulsions that you can accept the feelings Try to let go of any monitoring, hyper-focusing, check in the feelings and just engage. So allow and engage. So engage with this moment. And the difficulties become the pain alarm clock to remind you to be in your life, to be present, to be connected, engaged in what you're doing. And if you need to, you can run back through the steps. If things get intense, go to the version one. If things are more medium, but you're getting hooked, go for version two. If you've got more skill, stay in version three. 